What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you five tricks, five hacks uh, to make your fishing experience more enjoyable. Uh, these are hacks that I've used uh, for the past few years. Some I've learned more recently and some I've been doing since my dad taught me when I was the age of five. Um, they make my experience much quicker, much more efficient, and uh, ultimately I think put more fish in my boat. So I wanted to share them with you starting with number one. All right, so the first fishing hack that I have for you guys today is if you store your boat uh, in a garage, uh, the ability to manage all of your different rods, whether you're a bass fisherman and a walleye fisherman, or you go out on the Great Lakes um, or something like that, you're going to have a, a diverse amount of rods, probably too many if you're a fisherman like me. Uh, but you wanna be able to access those rods quickly and change up your setup. So me, I run a 17-foot Lund Fisherman. It's a two, year 2000 uh, with a 90-horse Honda. I will take that boat on tiny little lakes, you know, five-acre lakes or whatever, as long as there's, you know, a boat launch for it. I'll also take this boat on Superior in the right conditions, Lake Superior. So I run all sorts of different rods. And how I manage those rods, and I can change them out super fast, is I keep them above my boat using little screw and hooks. Now there's two different ways you can do this in my opinion. You can use these hooks like right here where they screw in um, to your rafters or you can get two of those hooks and I've seen this done before and either a, like a hockey stick, an old hockey stick or a dowel rod or any little small piece of wood that's that's straight and you run it straight across and then you just put your rods in um, up there. This maximizes my fishing time because I can just easily grab if I want to go trolling I can grab my trolling rod you can see I have a couple other on the side of my garage um, just because I have way too many rods which is probably a problem all of you have um, so if I need to grab my Lake Superior trolling rods I can just grab them down put them in if I have my uh, inland fishing gear my spin cast or my bait casters or whatever I can grab those down, put them in my boat, and I'm done in a matter of minutes instead of tangling with um, all sorts of lines that are tangled up. Uh, you don't know where you put some. Some are in your basement. Some are in a corner of your garage. Some are in another corner. This maximizes your fishing time. It takes a lot less time to set up for the next morning or if you're getting ready for that morning. Um, I this, this change for me, if I wanted to put six Lake Superior trolling rods in my boat, this takes a minute tops. So great tool to use. That's hack number one. Hack number two is something that's getting more and more popular with online tournaments, you know, such as the Fish Donkey app and all of that, where catch and release is becoming more and more uh, prominent in today's fishing world, which is amazing. That's a great thing to see. Uh, that is a bump board. This bump board allows you to take better care of the fish. And I've gotten some criticism on this, which I was surprised about in a couple videos. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of guys will say, just use a tape on your paddle or a tape on your net or whatever, um, and, or out the side of the boat. I can't count the amount of times when I was younger where I would have a tape measure on the side of my boat, which I still have a couple. Um, I rarely use them anymore because I have the 60 inch bump board, but um, where I would either drop the fish back in the lake because it flopped and we're not all perfect and we can't hold on to fish even if we're really good fish handlers or it would fall onto the bottom of the boat and it would you know then obviously have some head injuries or something like that and who knows how many of those fish mortally died they look like they swam away fine but they might have went to bottom and eventually floated back to the surface or just stayed dead on the bottom you don't know so this, I like to get this thing wet right before I put a fish down on it. Just splash a little water on there. Um, put the nose up to the, to the side wall here. Measure my fish. If I'm going to keep it, great. Throw it in the live well. If I'm going to throw it back, it's a super simple release. I don't spend a lot of time with the fish high up where I have the potential to drop it from a high uh, height. And I can get the fish back a lot faster. Get a good measurement on it. Uh, take a good picture if I'm in a tournament or something like that and have a safe release. So this is a lifesaver. This is life hack for fishing number two. Okay, guys, num hack number three for fishing. Um, this one is more of a universal 
uh, system that I think just makes everything run smoother. And that's just organizing your boat, taking the time to organize your boat. It, it, to me, in today's day and age, everyone's busy, everyone's doing something. So this is a hack in my opinion. Um, this is my glove box. I don't know how well you can see it in there, but everything's organized. My pliers are here. Um, I have a pair of binoculars. I have some sunscreen, uh, a couple snacks. Um, my trolling motor because I'm still retro and I haven't upgraded to anything newer. Um, so that's just my remote for my trolling motor. But everything's really neat and organized. It's the same with my tackle. If you come back here, all of my tackle is organized in boxes like this. So this is my shallow water crankbait tackle for Lake Superior or anything else. Um, if I'm fishing 15 feet or less, and I'm looking for trout and salmon or something like that in that warm water early season. This is that box. This is one of my spoon boxes. Nice and organized, mostly Lake Superior spoons. Um, you can do this a multitude of ways. This is swivels, sinkers, um, hooks, and beads. All in this box right here. Super organized, know where everything is on it. Another crankbait box here. This is mainly shad wraps from Rapala. Couple other little uh, Rapala baits in there as well, but for the most part, shad wraps. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of this. Is another just a Lake Superior box, but it's mainly deeper baits, so baits that go deeper than 10 feet of water. Um, troll down a little bit deeper, and that's why I keep that box just like that. And then I have my bait rigs box, which I've been using as my favorite box because I just think they catch a bunch of fish. So all of my bait rigs are in this box. Keeping an organized system maximizes your time as well it keeps things running smoothly you know right where everything is if i want a shallow water crankbait i know what box it is i know where it is if i need to grab some sunscreen because it's a hot day i know right where it is and i'm not looking through every compartment in my boat trying to figure out where i put something so keeping an organized system that's hack number three hack number four for fishing Sim super simple it's just a purchase you need to make. And that's a power box from any lithium company. Now I'm not sponsored by Dakota Lithium. I have a Dakota Lithium power box. I love it. I've had it for three years now. I've used it a ton. Um, it charges my phone if I need to. It charges any cameras that I'm using. Um, it has a flashlight on it in case it's dark outside. It really is just a super simple if i need to charge something in the boat like a battery um, it gives me just enough like if i run out of Minn Kota juice i don't have an onboard charger this will actually charge that for me um, everything that i can do with this battery is a lifesaver if i need to just get a you know a half mile further this will do it for me um, it's not you know made for that for the most part but if it, if it was in a dire need i love it it's super light um, it doesn't take up a lot of space in the boat. It's great for camping. It's great for fishing, um, boundary water strips, anything like that. It is a really good thing to have just in case. You know, a lot of us use our phones for maps and all of that. Um, let's say you forgot to charge it one day. Having this in your boat could, you know, allow you to, let's say you, you hit a rock or something. You're, you're out there. You forgot to charge your phone. Um, you know, having this on there, your phone's dead, you can charge it up quick and then call someone for help. That's that's good peace of mind right there. So um, Dakota Lithium, that's the Powerbox 10. Um, I love it. There's a bunch of different companies out there. I have had no problems with Dakota Lithium. I actually lost the charger for this Powerbox this year. And they, I messaged them. I said, hey guys, I can't find this, you know, this uh, charging cord. What can you guys you know, can I, can I get a new one from you guys? And they sent me a new one out for free. Um, that's pretty good customer service in my opinion. Uh, that is going to make me keep coming back. So that is uh, fishing hack number four. Fifth and final hack. If you don't know what this is, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you do, you know it's a lifesaver. This is called a thermocell. Um, they make a whole bunch of different kinds of um, bug repelling, uh, materials and all of that uh, that you can buy. This is the most efficient one for everything that I do from hunting to fishing. Um, whether it's black flies, mosquitoes, you're going to find something uh, while you're fishing that will make the trip 
less enjoyable sometimes. And it's something we sometimes forget about too. You're so excited to get on the lake, you totally forget there's probably gonna be black flies out there or mosquitoes or gnats or whatever. I'm telling you, this, keeping this on and ignited reduces the amount of those pests so much. It, it's, it's every single time, whether it's turkey hunting or fishing, I turn this on, I put this in the bottom of my boat. Um, sometimes I run two in here, one in the front, one in the back, and you're still gonna have a problem. It's not a foolproof system. It's not like putting a bug net around your whole tent, but it definitely eliminates a good portion. I would say over 50% of what the problem was originally, which makes it much more manageable and makes your experience more enjoyable. So pick one up. They're not that expensive. You know, I think the whole thing itself is somewhere in the 20 to $40 range. And then you just need fuel and the little um, things that slide into here that actually have some of the things that keep the bugs away. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what they're called right now, but you know what I'm talking about. So get you one of these because they are a lifesaver. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know I wasn't fishing or hunting, uh, but I was kind of thinking of some new ways that I could reach a lot of you and make something that was meaningful um, that makes my life as an outdoorsman uh, better and more efficient. So these are my top five fishing hacks. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. I'll make some more of these. I have plenty more other ideas that I could go with this route. Um, and I'll make a couple more. If you didn't, still leave a comment. Give me some love anyways. That would be great. Uh, make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't yet. So appreciate you guys. We'll hopefully see you out on the water.